Hello everyone. I would like to thank you all so much for joining me here today. We're going to get started here in our practice. I ask that we continue to find ourselves in our comfortable seated pose of choice. Using this moment to help us relax and unwind. Maybe we can gaze our eyes down or close our eyes. Ensuring that our backs are nice and straight. We don't want to be sunken forward. Spinal cord is nice and long. Our tummies are nice and tight. Our shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears, allowing our bodies to completely relax. As we breathe in deeply, Exhale fully. Inhale. Exhale. As we allow the breath and the down gaze to help us become centered here today. As we breathe our palms together at heart center, we are in our seated prayer. Maybe we can allow our thumbs to touch our sternum if that feels good for us. As we thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice teacher training here today. Using this time to become centered we are becoming grounded as we prepare ourselves for our training session here today. Breathe in deeply. Hold the breath. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Hold the breath. Exhale through the nose. As we notice the difference between exhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Simply being aware of what is going on and how the different breath techniques feel within our bodies. May we hold this pose, seated prayer, four more natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our head, coming into our seated salute, our fingertips are reaching up towards the ceiling. Feel in our spinal cord, get nice and long here. Chin slightly up. Spinal cord is nice and elongated. Feel in a stretch, reaching our fingers towards the heavens. Tummy's nice and tight. Breathe in. Exhale, seated twist right side. Softly gaze it over that right shoulder. Feel in the spinal twist here. Noticing how this feels within our bodies. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. Seated star, bringing our palms off to the sides. Feel in a stretch. Breathe in. Exhale, seated twist, opposite side. Gazing over that left shoulder, feeling the spinal twist here. Relaxing the body. Three more breaths. Exhale back to center, coming to our seated prayer, bringing our palms together above our heads. Fingertips are interlaced. Noticing how this feels. As our chest comes forward, our arms go slightly to the back, feeling this slight back bend here. Exhale back to center, body's nice and long. Fingertips are up in the air, uninterlacing our fingers. 
As we breathe our bodies towards the right side, coming into our seated crescent moon, feel in the side, then here. Abdominals are nice and tight. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. We are in our seated salute. Breathe in. Exhale, seated crescent moon, opposite side. Feel in that side, bend. Exhale, back to center. Breathing our palms together. Exhale, seated prayer. Relax in our bodies here. Checking in, seeing how we feel. As we straighten out our legs in front of us, we are gonna come into a staff pose. Our legs are straight out in front of us, side by side, parallel, back is straight. As we breathe our palms back up in the air, seated salute, palms together, hinging at our hips, coming down to a seated forward fold. Reaching our fingertips downward towards our lower legs or our feet, feeling a stretch, allowing our torso to fall downward towards our legs. Eyes are closed or gaze down, using the breath to relax and soothe. Noticing how with each breath, our torso comes closer towards our bodies. Three more breaths. As we exhale to our half seated forward fold, slightly gazing forward, feeling that stretch. Exhale to our staff folds, coming up into our position, noticing how we feel. Two breaths just hanging out here, collecting our thoughts. As we slightly bend our right leg, right foot is flat on the earth, our knee is up in the air, positioning our bodies to get comfortable, lifting up our right arm in the air, Lightly coming forward, taking our right arm and wrapping it around our leg. We are in our Sage Marici pose here. If we want to go deeper, we can take our left hand, bring it behind our backs, and interlace our fingers behind our bodies. We can be downward towards our legs, or we can come up. Whatever feels good for you. Hanging out here in this pose, feeling the nice, deep stretch here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Relax in the body. If our fingertips are interlaced, slowly uninterlacing those fingers, unwrapping that leg. As we straighten out that leg, we are back in our staff pose. Breathing our palms above our head in our salute. Exhale to prayer. As we hinge at our hips, coming to a seated forward fold. Gazing our eyes down, reaching down towards our ankles and feet. Building a stretch here, two breaths. Exhale to half, forward fold. As we breathe back up to our staff pose, relax in the body. Opposite side, lifting up that left leg. Left foot is spread on the earth. Knee is up in the air. Positioning our bodies to get comfortable. Lifting up that left arm. Slightly leaning towards the right. Leaning forward. Taking our left hand and wrapping that hand around our legs if we're able. We can hang out here if this is comfortable. If we want to go deeper, we can take our right hand, bring it behind our back, and interlace our fingers together. Filling this Nice deep stretch here. Eyes are gazed down, natural breaths. Allowing our bodies to completely relax here. Two more breaths. As we uninterlace our fingers and unwrap that leg, 
coming back down to our staff, straightening out both legs side by side, reaching our hands up towards the heavens. We are in our seated salute. Feeling that stretch, reaching our fingertips up towards the heavens. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, seated prayer. Hinging at our hips, coming down to a seated forward. Eyes are gazed down, relax in the body. We're gonna hang out here four more breaths. Going in. Noticing how our bodies feel in this very moment. Without judgment. We are simply aware. Never judging. Bonus. Two more breaths. Exhale into our head, forward fold. As we breathe back to our staff pose, relax in the body. As we flow our feet, we're gonna do a couple of hip openers coming into a diamond or a butterfly. Whatever feels good for you. Noticing that when we are in our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. When we're in our diamond, our feet are a little bit further apart. Noticing which pose feels best for you. We don't want to cause any injuries to our bodies. Natural breast here, simply checking in. If all feels well, maybe we can slightly hinge at our hips, using this pose to deepen our stretch, opening up our hips even more. We can relax our hands downward towards our feet, we can extend our hands in front of us, whatever you choose to do. Eyes are gazed down. Natural breaths. We can hang out here for more breaths. Relax in the body. Two more breaths. Walking our hands closer towards our bodies as we come back up to our diamond or our butterfly. Checking in, seeing how we feel within our bodies. As we take our hands and use our hands to bring our legs in together. Folding our legs, coming into a cow face. One leg is towards the back, towards our buttocks. Opposite leg comes towards the back, towards our buttocks. We are in our cow face. Notice how this feels. This cow face also helps relax our hips from that deep stretch we just did. So we're gonna hang out here for a couple breaths, ensuring that we didn't overstretch our hips. Shoulders are relaxed down as we check in with our bodies. Maybe we can breathe our palms at heart center if that feels good for you. If we want to go deeper, we can actually bring our hands into our complete cow feet, interlacing our fingers behind our backs if you choose. Whatever you and your body feels. We're going to hang out here for more breaths. With our eyes gazed down or closed. Two more breaths. We are centered. We are rooted. We are relaxed. If our fingers are interlaced behind our backs, may we bring them to prayer hands. Relax in the body. Relax in our arms. Palms are at heart center. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. As we softly open our eyes, and we're gonna bring our attention to our computer screen. 
And I thank you all for allowing me to guide you in that opening session. I hope everyone is doing well and I hope everyone is having a good Tuesday so far. I just wanted to pause this practice and see if anyone has any questions or any concerns about the online practice, online yoga school, or if anyone wanted to discuss anything or practice any type of teacher training, meditation, or anything here today before we continue to flow. And we're gonna stay in our cow face and we're gonna work on a couple of techniques to get our bodies or our client's bodies into that full cow face form if they cannot. So we are already in our cow face. Noticing how we feel. Now let's just say we have a client and they can't interlace their fingers behind their back, but they want to. We can give them exercise techniques that can allow them to eventually bring their hands behind their back. One is starting with the right side. It could be any side. Placing the right hand behind the back, right fingertips are touching the top of the shoulder blades. But they want their hand to go back further. So what we're gonna do, what we can show them is this is a nice exercise. Taking the left hand, connecting it to the shoulder. Yes. And slightly using your left hand to push your right hand behind your back. Chest comes up. Spinal cord back is nice and straight and we're gonna ask them to apply soft pressure towards their elbow. We don't wanna overstretch or cause any pain. And they can do these exercises or we can do these exercises and techniques simply just sitting around watching TV and eventually our hands will be able to go further and further behind our backs comfortably. And we also can ask them to switch sides. Now taking the left hand behind our bags, reaching the blades of our backs, now taking the right hand and softly pushing the elbow behind the back, chest is up, spinal cord is nice and straight. Applying soft pressure, ensuring ourselves or our clients are not injuring themselves. And eventually over time, maybe in a week, it could be in a week, they'll be able to come into that full cow face which is interlacing the fingers. Yes, completely behind the back. In the meantime, we can always give them the option to be, of course, in the prayer hands or simply just relaxing with their hands on their bodies. Whatever feels good for them, this is the cow face. May we take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Relax in our bodies as we find ourselves in our tabletop. We are, we are on our hands and our knees. Our knees are hip distance apart as we drop down to our cow. Tummies dip down towards the earth, chin is up towards the heavens here in our cow. As we exhale to our cat, chin comes towards our clavicle. Spinal cord comes up in the air. Flowing back to our cow. And we're gonna do a couple of cat cow rotations to our natural breath. Noticing how this feels in our bodies. Two more breaths. As we find our pause at table, we're gonna come into a sunbird pose. We call it bird pose for short on the right side, bringing that right leg out towards the back, feeling that stretch. Yes. Now maybe we can lift our right leg up higher in the air, noticing how we can feel it in our gluteus maximus when our leg is high. And maybe we can do a couple of pulses here. We are working on rounding and lifting our buttocks on the right side. Our bodies are probably starting to get nice and warm here in this pose. Two more breaths. As we relax, straightening out that leg straight to the back. And we're gonna bring our left arm forward. Now we are in our full sunbird. Our tummies are nice and straight. I'm sorry, our tummies are nice and tight. If we have a client or if we are unable and our bodies feel shaky, we can always give our clients the option to lower their toes downward towards the earth. See that there? And they are still in a sunbird pose. Whatever feels good for you or the client. We're gonna hold this pose for more breaths. Gazing forward, building strength. T 
two more breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, knee to elbow. Feeling that tummy crunch here. Back to bird pose. Knee to elbow. Flowing back to bird. Knee to elbow. Holding it in. Three breaths. Feeling that tummy crunch. Working our bodies. Exhale back to bird. Gazing forward as we drop to our table. Coming down to our cow. Exhale to our cat. We are back in our table and we're going to flow to sunburn opposite side. Left leg is out to the back. Nice and high. Lifting it up in the air. We are going to work our gluteus maximus here on the opposite side. Working on our buns of steel. Working on lifting our gluteus maximus. Maybe we can do a couple of pulses. Lifting that leg. Pulsing that leg. Filling our gluteus maximus. Get nice and tight here. Three more breaths. As we relax our leg, straight to the back. Keeping in mind that we can always lower that back foot if that feels good for us. We're gonna come into our full bird pose here by straightening out that front arm. Tummy's nice and tight. We are gazed forward. Feeling our bodies get nice and warm here. Building strength for more natural breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, knee to elbow. Feeling that crunch. Flowing back to bird. Deep stretch, knee to elbow. Feeling that tummy crunch here. Exhale, back to bird. Knee to elbow, bringing it in. Holding it in, three breaths. Exhale, back to bird. Breathing back to our table. Dropping down to our cow. Exhale into our head. Coming back to neutral, relaxing the body. We're gonna work on the thread the needle starting on the right side. Bringing that right arm off to the side. And we're gonna thread that right arm through our left as our heart chakra comes down with, towards the earth. Nice deep breath. Exhale, allowing our shoulders to relax forward on the yoga mat, completely relaxing our bodies here. If we want to go deeper, we can take that left arm and wrap it around our backs, noticing how this feels. Eyes are closed or gaze down. Shoulders are melted forward into the mat. Natural breath. We're gonna hang out here, four breaths. Two more breaths, relax in the body. As we slowly unwrap that arm and unthread that needle, we are back in our table, dropping down to our cow. Exhale into our cat. Flowing back to table as we come into that thread the needle opposite side. Threading that needle, left arm threads through the right chest. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Our eyes are closed with gaze down. Our shoulders fall forward into the mat. Our bodies are relaxed. Our chest is connected to the earth. We can go deeper by wrapping our right arm around our back, noticing how this feels in the body. Natural breath. We're gonna hang out here for more breaths. Mm -hmm. 
two more breaths. Relaxing our shoulders forward, completely relaxing our bodies here. As we slowly unwrap that arm and we're unthreading our needle, coming back to our table as we drop down to our cow, exhale to our cat. <sighs> coming up on our knees, we are in our knee, in our kneel position. Noticing how we feel, our palms are at our side. We are going to work on a camel pose, but before we go into camel, we're going to do a camel prep by placing both of our hands on the lower parts of our back. Knees are hip distance apart or slightly further. We're going to slightly bring our chest upwards and we're going to allow our head to slightly gaze up towards the heavens. And if we want to go deeper, we can allow our head to fall backwards between our shoulder blades. Noticing how this feels in your body. We're going to hang out here for four breaths, simply checking in and seeing how our body feels in this present moment. Two more breaths. If all feels well in this pose, maybe we can allow our hands to fall backwards behind our backs, interlacing our hands together in a bound position. Yes, noticing how once we connect our hands behind our backs, our bodies come even deeper into this pose, ensuring that we are not overstretching and hurting ourselves. If at any time, if we feel any discomfort, please come out of the pose. We're gonna hang out here, three more breaths. One more breath. As we flow our bodies back up, we are back into our kneel position. Palms are at our side. We're gonna drop our bodies down. We're gonna come into a puppy pose. Buttocks is in the air, bringing our chest, heart chakra towards the earth, closing our eyes or gazing our eyes down. Maybe we can extend our hands in front of us, coming into an extended puppy. With our eyes closed, Maybe we can check in with our bodies to see how we feel after being in that camel prep pose. We're gonna hang out here for three more breaths, using this time to go inward and check in, noticing how we feel within our bodies. Two more breaths, bodies relax, mind is relaxed. We are in our extended puppy. Maybe walk our fingers to the front of the yoga mat, feeling that stretch. Simply just walking our fingers forward as we're in our puppy pose. Noticing how that feels, bodies are stretching, our spinal cord is stretching as we prepare our bodies to go into a full camel if we're able. Two more breaths. As we spine away our bodies back into a tabletop, we are on our hands and our knees. And we're gonna do a couple of spinal waves, using our hands to push our torso towards our buttocks, towards our heels, yes. And pushing our torso forward. Spinal waves, noticing how the skills in our spinal cord. We can go as fast or as slow as we choose. The spinal wave is relaxing and soothing our spinal cord and it's gonna further prepare us to go into our camel pose here today. We are warming up our bodies. We are warming up our spinal cords. We are preparing to go deeper into our yoga practice here today. Three more breaths. One more breath. As we find pause at our table, pushing our bodies back up to our nail position. 
Well, before we go into our full camel, maybe we can start in the half camel, if that feels good. Taking our right hand and placing our right hand on our right heel. As our chest comes up, our head comes slightly back, noticing how this feels. And we can, we can bring our hand up in the air if this feels good, or we'll bring it over our head. We are in our camel, allowing this pulse to prepare our bodies even more. We're gonna hang out here in this half camel for three more breaths. Exhale, now coming back to our nail position. As we flow into the half camel opposite side, taking our left hand, bringing it towards our left heel of our feet, allowing our chest to come up as our back bends towards the back. We can take our right arm, lift it, lift it up straight in the air, or we can slightly bend it towards our back bend, whatever feels good for you. Using this half camel to prep our bodies for the full camel. We're gonna hang out here, bring more breaths. Exhaling out. Now we can come into a meal position or we can flow completely into a full camel, whatever feels good for you. If we're unable to come into a full camel, maybe play around in our half camels on the left and right side. We now have both of our hands relaxed on the heels of our feet. Or we can bound our hands behind our back and completely relax, whatever feels good for you. We're gonna hang out here for four more breaths. Two more breaths. And telling out of that camel, coming into a wide-legged child pose or puppy pose, bringing our bodies downward towards the earth. We can come into an extended by extending our hands in front of us. We can come into a prayer, puppy or child's pose by bringing our palms together above our head. Or we can swirl our hands to the backs, connecting our hands to our feet in our child's pose or puppy pose. Whatever your body feels you need in this present moment as we take natural breaths, as we gaze our eyes down and close our eyes. Using this moment to relax our body and soothe our body from practicing that camel pose here today. We're gonna go inward in our child's pose or puppy pose for seven natural breaths. Noticing how this child's pose or puppy pose feels within our body. Maybe we can rock our bodies from side to side in our child's pose or puppy pose. Noticing how it feels in our hips. Maybe we can rock only if we choose. Eyes still gaze down or closed. We're gonna hang out in this pose for a little while longer. Checking in with our bodies. Seeing how we feel. Without judgment. Two more breaths. Exhale 
as we walk our fingers to the front of the yoga mat and our child's pose and puppy pose, feeling that stretch. Natural breaths. Our bodies relax. Our mind is relaxed. As we softly gaze forward in our puppy's pose or child's pose, seeing what's in front of us. As we spine away, we're gonna do a couple of spinal waves here. Checking in with our spinal cord. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. Finding pause at table in our spinal waves as we push our bodies up to our first down dog. Gazing back at our feet, our tummies are nice and tight. Maybe we can walk our dog by pedaling our feet, left and right. Noticing how this feels. Maybe pushing our torso towards our thighs, going deeper in that stretch. Hanging out here, four more breaths. Breathing forward, coming into an up dog. We are working our arms, we are in our up dog. Thighs are all fierce. Chin is slightly up towards the heavens. Noticing how this feels, building strength in our arms as we flow back to our down dog. Tummies tight, gazing back at our feet. We're gonna keep on flowing, building strength, coming into our high plank. Slightly gazing forward here, tummies tight here in our plank. We could be in our high, we can come down to our low plank. Whatever feels good for you. Holding this pose, three more breaths. Exhale to our side plank, we could be high or low. Lifting that arm up in the air, either side that feels good for you. We can also bend that knee if that feels good in our side plank, whatever you choose. Two more breaths. Body's getting nice and warm here. Exhale back to center, we are back in our high plank. As we flow to side plank, opposite side. We can be high plank, low plank. We can bend that knee, whatever you choose. Building strength. When we're in our plank poses, we are working our obliques. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, coming back to our high plank. As we flow to up dog, thighs are off the earth, chin is slightly up in the air. Exhale, down dog. Gazing back at our feet. Maybe we can pedal our feet, walking our dog. As we flow into a three-legged dog, bringing that right leg in the air nice and high. Gazing back at our foot. Holding this pose a couple breaths, building strength in our arms here. Exhale, knee to elbow. Bringing that knee up to the elbow. We are working our arms here. Back to three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to elbow, holding it up here. Three-legged dog. One more time, knee to elbow, holding it in. Two breaths, building strength. Exhale, three-legged dog. Dancing back at that foot. Exhale, down dog. Slowing down to our dolphin, coming on our forearms, giving our arms a little break here. We are in our dolphin. Tummies are nice and tight. Maybe we can walk our feet towards our torso. Our buttocks comes higher in the air when we do this. Continuing to gaze back at our feet. This dolphin pose prepares our minds and our bodies for headstand. We're gonna hang out here, four more breaths. We are building strength in our upper bodies here. Two more breaths. Dropping down to our knees, we're gonna come into a wide-legged child's pose, a puppy pose for four breaths. Giving our bodies a break, a little rest. Allowing this pose to regulate our heartbeat. Two more breaths. As we flow back up, coming into our table. 
only for a second. We're going back down to our down dog, gazing back at our feet, <sighs> feeling that stretch. We're gonna flow into a three-legged dog, left side, left legs in the air, nice and high, gazing back at that foot. Feeling that stretch here, holding his pose. Three more breaths. Exhale, knee to elbow. Three-legged dog. Knee to elbow. Three-legged dog. Knee to elbow, holding it in. Two breaths. Three-legged dog. Exhale to our down dog. Gazing back, pedaling our feet, walking our dog. Complete forward fold. Jumping, walking, whatever feels good for you in our forward fold. Nice deep breath, eyes are gazed down. Noticing how this forward fold relaxes and soothes. We can feel it behind our legs and our hamstrings. Hanging out here, two more breaths. Exhale to a half, forward fold, slightly gazing forward, noticing how this feels in our body. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, complete forward fold. Maybe we can come into a rag doll if that feels good for you, hugging our elbows from side to side. Maybe we can rock our bodies from side to side. Yes, moving our bodies, noticing how this feels behind our legs and our hamstrings. We're gonna hang out here in our complete forward fold, or happy, I'm sorry, or um, rag doll for a couple more breaths, simply checking in, noticing how this feels. Two more breaths. If we were swaying from side to side, maybe find our pause at center, simply hanging out here, checking in. Exhale to half forward fold. As we breathe up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose, our palms are at our side. As we breathe up to our standing salute or our extended mountain, palms are up in the air. Feeling that stretch. Maybe we can come up on our tippy toes, noticing how our bodies are nice and long. We are also building balance here. Two more breaths. Coming back off our tippy toes. We are back in our Tadasana or extended mountain. Chin is up. As we interlace our hands above our head, we're gonna do a standing back bend, allowing our arms to go towards the back. Chest comes forward. We are in our back bend. Relaxing our bodies. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. We are in our standing salute or our extended mountain. As we sway our bodies towards the right, we are in our standing crescent mode. Tummy's tight, feeling this side bend here. Exhale back to center. Crescent mode, opposite side. Exhale back to center. We are in our standing salute. Our extended mountain, whichever you choose. Noticing the difference between the standing salute when we're in our standing salute, our hands are above our head together or they're separated. Well, when they're, when they're together, we are in our standing salute. When they're separated, we are in our extended mountain. That's the difference. As we breathe our palms at heart center, we are in our standing prayer. As we hand in our hips, we are in our forward fold. Noticing how this feels. As we bend our knees, we're gonna come into our chair pose. We can keep our palms at heart center or we can extend our hands in front of us. We are now working our lower parts of our body. Four more breaths. Build and strengthen our quads. Two more breaths. 
If our hands are extended in front of us, maybe we can bring them in at prayer hands as we do a chair twist right side. Working out with eyes. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. Cheer pose twist opposite side. Exhale back to center. Complete forward fold. Noticing how this complete forward fold is a counter pose to that chair pose. It relaxes and soothes. Eyes are closed or gaze down. Lowering into a rag dial if that feels good for you. We're gonna hang out here for three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale a half forward fold. Breathing to our Tadasana. Palms on our side, we are in our mountain pose. Exhale back up to our standing salute or extended mountain. Breathe in. Exhale, standing prayer. Hinging at our hips, forward fold. As we flow to a complete forward fold. Walking our hands forward, we are back into our down dog. Gazing back at our feet as we walk our dog, pedal on our feet, side to side. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, three-legged dog, right side. Right leg is in the air, nice and high. Gazing back at that foot. Exhale, right foot, right hand. We are in our runner's lunge. Build this strength as we come up to our warrior one or high lunge. Notice how this feels in our body. Hanging out here, building strength in our legs and our quads. Exhale to warrior two. We're gonna hang out here, two more breaths. Flowing back to warrior one or high lunge. Exhale back to warrior two. Body's nice and warm. We're gonna flow into reverse warrior. Two more breaths. Exhale to side angle or extended side angle. Natural breath here. Flowing forward, coming into our runner's lunge to our pyramid, straightening out that front leg. We are nailing our pyramid. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Allowing our torso to relax over that front leg. Eyes are gazed down. Natural breaths. Allows our body to relax even more. It allows our torso to come closer towards our leg. This pose prepares our mind and our body to split. We're gonna hang out here for breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale the runner's lunge, bending that front knee. Coming to down dog. Gazing back at our feet, we are building strength. Three-legged dog, opposite side. Left legs in the air, nice and high as we gaze back at that foot. Exhale, left foot, left hand. We are in our runner's lunge. Hanging in a pose, catching our balance as we flow up to our warrior one or high lunge. Two more breaths. Exhale to warrior two. Working our quads, our legs on the opposite side. Exhale, warrior one or high lunge. Exhale back to warrior two. Natural breaths. As we flow to reverse warrior. Side angle or extended side angle. Arms up in the air, wrapped around your back, whatever you choose here in your side angle. Two more breaths. As we flow forward to our runner's lunge, 
straightening out that leg, coming into our pyramid. Relaxing our bodies, natural breaths. Now when our torso to relax over that front leg. Two more breaths, bodies relaxed. Exhale to our runner's lunge, bend in that front leg. Breathe back, down dog. Mm. Exhale to a high plank. Back to down dog. Breathing forward to our up dog. Exhale back, down dog. Three-legged dog, right side. Right leg's in the air, nice and high. As we breathe our front leg forward, coming into our pigeon, bringing that front leg in front of us. Opposite leg is towards the back. We are in our pigeon pose. Right leg's forward, left leg's to the back. Noticing how this feels. Maybe we can take our left hand and connect that left hand towards our left leg. Slightly gazing over that left shoulder. Feeling that spinal twist, relaxing that spinal cord. <sighs> Exhaling back to center as we gaze over that right shoulder. Feeling that spinal twist, relaxing our spinal cord. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. Allowing our bodies to relax down. Coming into a sleeping pigeon. Relaxing our bodies. Heart chakra comes down with, towards that front leg. Eyes are closed or relaxed. Natural breaths. We're gonna hang out here for four more breaths. Relax in the mind. Relax in the body. Two more breaths. Using our hands to push our torsos up out of that sleeping pigeon. Coming back to our down dog. Bringing that right leg to the back. Gazing back at our feet. Pushing our torso towards our thighs. Feeling that stretch nice and deep here in our down dog. Exhale, up dog. Coming slightly forward, thighs off the earth, chin slightly up. Building strength in our arms. Flow back to down dog. Tummy's nice and tight, gazing back at that feet. Maybe we can pedal our feet, walking our dog for a couple seconds. Finding pause, flowing the three-legged dog, left side. Left leg's in the air. Exhale, the pigeon opposite side. Left leg goes forward, right leg is towards the back. Pigeon pose prepares our mind and bodies for split. As we take our right hand and bring our right hand towards our right leg behind us, simply connecting it as we slightly gaze over that right shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Exhale, back to center. Gazing over that left shoulder. Notice how this relaxes and soothes the spinal cord. Breathing back to center. As we flow our bodies down, coming into a sleeping pigeon. Eyes are closed or gaze down. As we use this time to check in with our bodies. Noticing how we feel. Judgments. We're going to hang out here for more natural breaths. Breath. 
As we use our hands to push our bodies up, coming out of that sleeping pigeon, pushing our bodies back into our down dog. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch nice and deep. Exhale, up dog. Breathe back, down dog. Going to our high plank. Hanging out here, four breaths. Tummy's nice and tight, building strength in our arms. As we exhale down to a chaturanga or a low plank, whatever you choose. Exhale to cobra or baby cobra. Two breaths. Exhale down, we're coming into our sphinx pose. Relaxing our bodies on our forearms. Palms are, yes, on the earth. We are on our forearms, ensuring we are not sunken. We wanna be nice and tall, always having control of our bodies. Gazing down, noticing how this feels. Two more breaths. As we breathe our hands forward, coming into a superman or supergirl, we got our hands forward. Our legs are off the earth. See that there? Like we are flying. We are in our superman or supergirl, holding this pose a couple breaths. Two more breaths. As we swim our hands to the back, swimming our hands to the back, coming into a locust pose. Our legs are still off the earth. Yes, noticing how this lifts our chest up a little bit more. This is a back bend. We are in our locust. Two more breaths. If we wanna go deeper, we can actually come into a bow pose. We can come straight into that bow, or we can start off slow. Right hand to right ankle. If this feels good, left hand to left ankle. Noticing how this lifts our chest even more off the earth. If this is difficult or uncomfortable, please come down into a locust or a Superman or a Sphinx pose. We're gonna hang out here, three more breaths. This is a nice deep back bend. <sighs> Relaxing our legs, uninterlacing our feet, swimming our hands forward, crossing our hands in front of us, coming into a sleep rest pose. Resting our forehead on our hands or the cheeks on our hands, whatever you choose. Natural breaths. Relaxing the mind, relaxing the body, relaxing the tummy and all the pressure we just put on the tummy. We're gonna hang out here, three more breaths. Allowing our shoulders to fall forward into that yoga mat. Completely relaxing our bodies, yes. Letting the body relax completely. Releasing any tension we may feel that is within our bodies, if any. We're gonna hang out here, bonus. Two more breaths. As we slowly waken our bodies out of that sleep pose, we're gonna flow onto our side. We're gonna do a leg stack pose, stacking our legs on its side. So our legs are stacked on top of each other. We're gonna work on a, an alligator pose. So we have one arm up above our head. We have our other kickstand hand right here. Noticing how this feels. We can allow our head to relax on our arm if that feels good for us. And we're gonna slightly lift up our leg. We can lift it up high, we can lift it up low, whatever you choose. We are now working. We're gonna work our legs a little bit more, working on thinning our legs and firming our legs. If we wanna go into our full alligator, maybe we can relax our legs down just for a second. So legs are stacked on top of each other. Our kickstand hand, maybe we can Bring it above our head. Now, both of our hands are connected above our head. See that there? What our hands is forming is the alligator's tail. Allowing our head to continue to rest on our arm. 
And once we open up those legs slightly now, we are in our complete alligator. Our leg is the alligator's mouth. Noticing how the difference of the feel when our legs are lower, medium, or higher. Playing around in your alligator. Doing whichever pose feels good for you. Noticing we are balancing our bodies here. So this is also a balancing pose. Our core is tight. So it is also working our core as well as the burn we are probably already feeling in our legs. We're gonna hang out here for five more breaths. We're probably still in the burn. We're gonna keep on going. We have three more breaths to go. Two more breaths. Exhaling that leg down. Relax in the body. Flowing back onto our tummies as we flip to the opposite side. We're gonna work our legs back opposite. Coming on to that side. Legs are stacked on top of each other. We're gonna straighten out that arm. Allowing our head to rest on that arm. We're gonna lift our leg up in the air, seeing how this feels. Catching our balance. Bringing our leg back down to the earth. And if all feels good, we're gonna create that full alligator's tail by bringing our hand, our kickstand hand above our head, interlacing our hands together or bringing our hands together. We just formed that alligator's tail, and now we're gonna lift our leg up as high or as low as we choose. Feeling the burn on the opposite side. We are firming our legs here, building strength in our legs here. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly bring our leg down, feeling that burn, relaxing the leg. We're gonna flow right onto our backs, coming into our Shavasana just for a second, bringing our knees into our chest. Hugging our knees into our chest, noticing how that Two more breaths. As we allow our knees to fall towards the left, we are coming into a recline, spinal twist here. Knees fall to the left, right arm goes out to the side. As we softly gaze over that right shoulder or gaze up towards the heavens, feeling that spinal twist here, allowing our shoulder blades to relax backwards into the yoga mat. Eyes are closed or gaze down if that feels comfortable for you. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, bringing our knees back in towards our chest, hugging them in. Breathe in. Exhale, allowing our legs to fall towards the opposite side. Feeling that spinal twist. Knees are falling towards the right. We're gonna bring that left arm out to the side, gazing over that left arm or gazing up towards the heavens. Allowing our shoulder blades to relax backwards into the yoga mat. Our minds and bodies are completely relaxed here. Four more natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale back to center, hugging our knees into our chest, noticing how this feels. Two breaths. 
breathe in. Exhale in our legs up in the air. We are in our legs on the wall pose. As we bend our knees towards our torso, coming into a happy baby, connecting our feet towards our hands. <sighs> Maybe we can rock from side to side if that feels good. Using the floor to massage and soothe our spinal cord. Maybe we can play with our feet and our hand, lifting our legs up and down, whatever you choose. We are going to freestyle in our happy baby for six natural breaths, doing whatever we choose. <sighs> Three more breaths. Body is relaxed, mind is relaxed and happy. As we slowly come out of that happy baby, allowing our feet to fall flat on the earth, knees are in the air, feet are flat on the earth. We are gonna work on our bridge pose here. Using our feet and our hands to push our buttocks off the earth. We are working on our buns still here. Our booty is maximus. So our feet pushing our bodies off the earth. Tummies are nice and tight. Core is nice and strong. Buttocks, we can feel it. Booty is maximus is getting nice and round. We are lifting up our buttocks. If we want to go deeper, we can take our hands, bringing it underneath our buttocks, interlacing our fingers and maybe we can walk our shoulder blades towards our spinal cord if we choose. Noticing how our hips come even higher, our chest is higher in the air. Bridge pose, and we can go deeper in this bridge pose if you choose. We can go into a three-legged bridge, maybe starting on the right side, lifting up that right foot, relaxing it on the left leg. Or you can go even further by straightening out that front leg. That right leg is up in the air. Three-legged bridge, whatever you choose. Any bridge of choice. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back down as we flow to the um, three-legged bridge opposite side. Left leg comes up in the air, relaxing that left leg on that right leg. Rounding and lifting that gluteus maximus. And if you choose, we can straighten out, lifting up that left leg straight in the air. Notice how this works our gluteus maximus even more. Three more breaths. Exhaling back down to our bridge, lifting our buttocks up in the air nice and high. As we do a couple of bridge pose pulses, yes. Working on rounding, lifting, and tightening our gluteus maximus. Four more breaths, this is our bonus here. Funds of steel, four more breaths. Finding our pulse, buttocks is up in the air, nice and high, holding it in, squeezing the buttocks. Two more breaths, nice and tight. <sighs> Let's do bonus, three more breaths. Squeezing that buttocks, nice and tight, feeling that burn here. Two more breaths. Exhale down. <sighs> Relax and hugging our knees into our chest. Noticing how this relaxes and soothes the gluteus maximus muscle. Relaxing our shoulders back into the yoga mat, completely relaxing our bodies. We're gonna hang out here, three breaths. As we slightly come up, we're gonna flow into a boat pose. We're now gonna work our abdominal muscles. We are in our boat pose. We can cross our feet at our ankles. 
or we can straighten out that those feet or we can lift our legs up in the air whatever boat pose feels good for you we're gonna hang out here 10 natural breaths Five more breaths, working on tightening our core, our abdominal muscles. As we, maybe we can do a couple tests, side, side tests. Noticing how this goes even deeper in our core, and it also works our obliques. Yes, tapping the body from side to side. Tummy's nice and tight. It also balances our body. We're gonna do this for five more breaths. We can go as slow or as fast as we choose, keeping our core, our abdominal muscles nice and tight here. Three more breaths. <sighs> Finding pause here in our boat pose. Finding pause for a second. Reaching down, connecting our feet towards our hands. We're gonna work on a bear pose. Let's start with the right side, straightening out that right leg towards the side. And if this feels good, maybe we can straighten out that left leg to the opposite side. We are now in our bear pose, AKA boat pose variation. Noticing how our bodies are balancing here. Our keeping our back nice and straight. Our core is nice and tight. We can also feel it behind our hamstrings here. Hanging out here in this pose. Widening our legs into a V if we choose, going nice and deep. Keeping our back straight. Noticing how when we keep our back straight, we can feel it more in our bodies. Three more breaths. Feeling a stretch. As we bring our feet inward, connecting our feet together in a bound position, we are back in our butterfly or our diamond. <sighs> Hinging at the hips, allowing our torso to fall downward towards our feet slightly. Gazing forward, tummy's nice and tight. Simply hanging out here, relaxing the body, relaxing the mind. Seeing how we feel. And if we choose, we can go deeper by bringing our torso closer towards the earth. Taking natural breaths. Our heart temperature, our heart rate is regulating. Our body temperatures are coming back to normal. As we prepare our bodies and our minds to conclude our session, using our hands to push our torsos up we are back in our butterfly or our diamond. We're gonna flow onto our backs, coming into a knee to chest. Bringing our knees into our chest, just for a second. As we straighten out our legs side by side, we are in our Shavasana. Eyes are closed for days now. Our shoulder blades are relaxed back into the yoga mat. Our feet are parallel side by side. The heels of our feet are connecting. As we allow our feet to fall towards the side like a V. Maybe we can keep our eyes closed or gaze them down. As we use the next 10 breaths to relax and soothe.
five more breaths. As we lay on our sides to a fetal position. Our eyes are still closed or gaze down. As we check in with our bodies, simply seeing how we feel in our fetal pose. Maybe we can slowly rotate our ankles, moving our feet in circles. Maybe we can rotate our hips from side to side. As we slowly awaken our bodies, coming out of our Shavasana, using our hands to slowly push our bodies up off here. Maybe we can keep our eyes gazed down as we come into a seated position of choice. I am going to come back into a cow face. <laughs> eyes are still gazed down as we bring our palms together at heart center. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Shoulders are relaxed down away from our ears. Spinal cord is nice and long. Tummies are tight. Our chin is relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. Our mind and our bodies are relaxed. With our palms at heart center, may we thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice teacher training here today for in a busy busy world it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self for self-care is a necessity The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste.